Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to make a really quick update for you guys because I have some bad news. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that about a year ago I uploaded a video about the importance of taking rest or something about rest and artist injury. Um, yeah, it was that long ago, I totally forgot. But basically I told you guys that I have tennis elbow, which is an injury to um, the tendons that connect the muscles in your forearms to the elbow. And back then I was pretty bummed about it because apparently like the recovery time for tennis elbow is like six months to a year, possibly even more. And that's because tendons don't heal as quickly as bones or muscles. And even though I was bummed about it, I kind of felt like I could still manage my way through it. You know, if I just um, exercise properly and, you know, strap it and I could just manage the pain and work through it. And that's what I've been doing for the past year or so. But now it's been about 18 months, maybe even more than that, and it still hasn't improved. And, you know, just in the last week or so, I had a really bad week where it was really sore and I was trying not to use my left hand at all, like for anything in my daily life. And that was when it got to the point where it was really scary. Like, I was starting to have thoughts of like, maybe I won't be able to draw anymore. Um, maybe I would become disabled. <laughs> it was really, really scary. and. The main reason I felt this way was because, you know, it's been over 18 months and it hasn't healed. And over the past year or so, I've been optimistic, I've been patient, I've told myself, you know, just give it more time and it'll heal. But that hasn't been the case. And I think it is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to keep up with my content, like producing and my artwork, um, just because there were days where I just told myself, I can't do this. So. I'm kind of at a point where I feel like I need to just take maybe two or three months off and just focus on rehab. So, you know, commit to a physio routine, commit to things like acupuncture or um, exercises and just not draw and try to stay away from um, anything that's gonna stress it. And the other thing is I have a job where I need to use a computer, so I need to save my arm for my job. I mean, I don't think it's going to really affect my job too much because I don't do drawing at my job. So from that point of view, that's okay. But the combination of going to work, you know, typing all day or, you know, using a computer and then coming home and then drawing all night, um, it's not going to work out for me. Like I need time to rest and um, just let my elbow heal. Now all of this sounds really negative and there were some times this week where I felt like I just had no hope. Um, so yeah, the thought of not being able to draw at all for the rest of my life is just totally scary and I definitely hit a pretty bad low point this week. Um, but the other day I went to the sports store and I was looking for like one of these elastic things like, um, I don't know what they call it, like for exercises. So it's just a gigantic elastic band. And while I was looking for it, I saw this other thing on the wall, which is like this little ball, it looks like a massage ball. And because my arm was just in so much pain that day, like when I saw it, I just felt like I need that. It's kind of like, it's like when you're really thirsty and you see like a drink on the shelf and you think, just give it to me, I just have to have it. And when I saw that ball, I just thought, I need this ball. And without any like scientific thinking or like reasoning for how this would make me feel better, I just bought it. And then I just started rubbing it into my arm. And so that night, like when I got home, I just spent like, two hours of rubbing that ball into my forearm along here. Um, this is the ball by the way. So just rubbing it and after about like an hour and a half of that I would say I'm just gently rubbing it and forcing myself to sit down and watch TV and do nothing to do with computers or using my hands. Um, it felt a lot better. Now I didn't want to get too excited because it was like throughout this past year or so of having this problem I've had periods where I've done things and then it felt better for a moment and then the next day it would just revert back to the pain. Right now it's been about two or three days since and it still generally feels alright like it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be the pain is not there. Um, sure it doesn't feel strong and I'm still scared of you know jumping back into drawing or anything like that but I'm amazed like it's it feels like 90% whereas before it used to always feel around 50% or 40% um, and so it led me to do a lot of googling and I was wondering how could this be possible like if I have tennis elbow just massaging it can't possibly just fix it right because you know there's tears in the tendon like I thought that that would need to heal and when I was researching I found this thing called myofascial trigger points um, or trigger point therapy and as I followed this theory basically it was saying that my problem wasn't in my elbow um, it was actually to do with overuse of the muscles in my forearm and it caused like a trigger point to occur. 
uh, it basically it's like a knot in your muscles so you know if you um, hurt your shoulders or your back sometimes you have a knot and you get it massaged out right and what made me think that this was it was as I was massaging I started you know putting the ball on my elbow um, you know at the sore spot and then as I massaged for you know 15 20 minutes I noticed that the pain point was moving and I thought to myself if the problem is in my elbow how come the pain point is moving down to the middle of my forearm like that doesn't make sense it was like a knot that's in your shoulder or your back and as you massage it it moves throughout your back so that's what led me on to googling all this stuff and um, the idea behind myofascial trigger points I don't know if I'm saying it properly but um, the idea behind it is that your muscles have contracted or something like that and it, it can't release um, so it's just, I don't know how to explain it. I need to read the thing again. Now, I'm not a physio and I don't know if this is actually true. I'm just experimenting and seeing how I go. But so far, it seems pretty amazing and my hand feels a lot better. Um, so if you are an artist that's like struggling with tennis elbow that you feel like has never gone away, um, I really do recommend trying to buy one of these massage balls or, you know, just grabbing like a tennis ball or something like that and massaging it into the forearm. So yeah, I just uh, wanted to make this video to update you guys on what's been happening, like why I've been a bit quiet on social media for the last two or three weeks. Um, for my Patreon supporters, um, I can't promise a wallpaper pack for the next two to three months because I just really need to look after my health. And if you are supporting on the $5 level, I totally understand if you want to cancel that or drop down to the $1 level. I will try to think of a way to give you guys some value, uh, maybe give you guys an exclusive video tutorial or something like that. Um, but in terms of like a dedicated painting that takes, you know, a couple of hours of drawing time, I can't promise that at all. And it's been really tough for me to make this decision because, you know, of course I want to grow my Patreon, I want to grow my supporters, I want to grow all of this. Um, and it feels like right at the time where I need to be putting my foot on the pedal and like pushing harder to make more content and more videos and more artwork, I have to stop and even tell you guys don't support me because of this problem. And it's just been super frustrating. Yeah, if you guys are artists, if you're, you spend a lot of time on the computer or, you know, writing or composing or drawing or designing or whatever you do, um, I really do encourage you to take breaks. Um, don't be crazy like me and um, power through things. So over this next two months, what I'll do is videos of, you know, old artwork. Um, I've got a crap load of old work that I can show you and it's in a completely different style. So that'll be interesting, I think. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm not going to shut down this channel. This channel's not going to stop because I know for sure I'm going to be back. I know for sure this is not going to be me and I have hope because of this little ball. Um, yeah, I think it's put me on a new path and I'm definitely going to find a way to strengthen my forearms and I'm going to come back better than ever. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.